Uh, good morning and once again welcome to my youtube channel Maths with Is. and in this video we are going to explain example 16 of algebra 7 still under quadratic inequalities and we are told to solve x squared minus x minus 2 is less than or equals to 0 this is what we are going to focus on less than or equals to 0 showing the solution set on a number line first things first and because this one is a region what is the boundary the boundary is a line is a graph which should be y is equals to x x squared minus x minus 2 that is the the graph that we need to plot at least to to, 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 to get the boundary. But within what we have learned in the previous example, we have learned that when x is 0, let's say, when x is 0, y is 0 minus 0 minus 2. And this is what we called the y-intercept. What about when y is 0? When y is 0, it looks like now we have x squared minus x minus 2 is equals to 0. This is an attempt to look for the x-axis intercept. Incidentally, we can already see that we are solving a quadratic equation which is equals to 0. And we are solving to find the values of x when y is equals to 0, which in other words in a, another language we can call critical values or x y intercept this is just a general a, a quadratic equation which we have solved in so many other ways and we can can just pick one of the ways let's pick b a c approach b a c approach whereby our b is negative one and our a c is negative two which two numbers do we add? They give us a negative 1. And when we multiply, they give us a negative 2. Those two numbers are uh, negative 2 plus 1 and negative 2 times 1. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. And as you remember, what we used to do, we used to break the middle term and substitute it with the two factors found. So we have x squared minus 2x plus 1x minus 2 is 0. So what is common in the first two? x is common, x minus 2, and then plus 1, which is common, x minus 2 is equals to 0. So in this case, we have x minus 2 and x plus 1 equals to 0. And if this is true, if x minus 2 is the one which is 0, then x is equals to 2. Or if x plus 1 is the one which is equals to 0, then x is equals to negative 1. And these are what we are calling the x-axis intercept or the critical values. We have the x-axis intercept. And we have the critical, we have the y-axis inter, uh, intercept. So in an attempt now to plot the graph, let's just have the graph that way. We can have minus 1, minus 2, and we can have 1, 2, 3, minus 3. The critical values are x is equals to negative 1 and Two, but the y-axis intercept is when y is equals to. Let's talk about negative two there. But we said um, so that we can understand the shape of the graph. It is important to take some uh, some points below negative one and above positive two, so that we can seriously see uh, how the graph that the graph is performing and behaving. So we are talking of um, x. And y. When x is negative 2, what is the value of y? Negative 2 squared 
minus minus 2. Negative 2 squared is 4. Minus minus 2, that is plus 2, is 6. 6 minus 2 is 4. When x is negative 1, of course, we can see y is 0. When x is 0, y is uh, negative 2. When x is 1, y is, uh, let's substitute, 1 minus 1, 0. We are having minus 2. When x is 2, you can see y is 0. When x is 3, we must now take one step above the upper limit of x. Then we are saying 3 squared is 9, minus 3 which is 6, 6 minus 2 which is 4. And let us plot this point in the, in the graph. Uh, when x is minus 1, when x is minus 2, we have y being equals to let's say 4, we could be having 4 there, then 0, when x is 0, minus 2, when x is 1, another, minus 2, when x is 2, 0, and when x is 3, we have a 4. So we have to use freehand and construct a very smooth graph. There we are. That is our graph. It is actually the boundary. Anytime you plot a graph, please remember to name it. The name of this graph is y is equals to x squared minus x minus 2. But we have not answered the question yet. Look for all what you have done. This equation, the values must be less than or equals to 0. So we want to get the range of x for which all y's are less than 0. So we need the below region and the above region is the unwanted region. So we can already brand it unwanted unwanted region. So we need this one to be less than below the line. That, that is below where, be, below the x-axis. That's when the values of y are negatives, as we have understood. That means what? For this to happen, you can see we have a continuous line here. We have the boundary as um, we have one boundary as negative 1, we have another boundary as 2, and the line is continuous, x has to be in between. So for all values greater than, for all values of x greater than negative 1, moving to the right, greater than negative 1, or equals to, because you can see our inequality is providing equals to. And for all values of x which are less than 2, 2 to the left, less than or equals to, then within this region, this makes a lot of sense. But we are also told that, that um, um, uh, as much as these are the solutions, the questions also ask us to show the solution set on a number line. And let us just go to the number line and have it as it were. So that is the number line. We have we have zero, we have negative one, and we have two. And because of inclusive, uh, because of the this inequality, less than or equals to, x can be negative one. Moving forward, the limit, the upper limit is two. This can be the possible values of x within this region, and because of the existence of equals to, then these limits are shaded, meaning that they are also included in the answer, as you can see, as you can see. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Let's work together.